Okay, so we get a lot of questions on magnesium in a reef aquarium as well. So magnesium is fairly straightforward. There's very few things in the aquarium which will use magnesium. Usually the main way that you lose magnesium from the aquarium is actually because of calcium and KH sticking to each other, dropping out of solution and taking the magnesium with them. The C is around 1250 to 1300 magnesium on PPM. Um, most hobbyist tanks run a bit higher than that, 1350, 1400. You can run up into the 1600s with no major issues at all. As a rough guide, the magnesium should be at triple or higher than your calcium. So if your calcium is run, let's say, 400, your magnesium must be 1200 or higher. As long as it's triple or more your calcium, I won't worry about it too much unless you're getting into crazy, crazy numbers. It's quite normal with a new aquarium for the sand to contain some magnesium and even the rocks. So when you set a new aquarium up, it's not unusual to start with the magnesium to rise 50, 100, 200 points. And then over time that will level off as water changes bring it back down. That's nothing really to worry about. Magnesium is not really used by much in an aquarium at all, so it's, it doesn't really get depleted. The only time you need to really dose magnesium is if you're already dosing calcium and KH, because when dosing calcium and KH, it can upset the magnesium and cause the magnesium to drop out a little bit. Um, but even then, even if you're using large amounts of calcium and KH, if you manage to dose it flawlessly, you wouldn't really lose much magnesium in the process. So uh, it's mostly just there, it just sort of sits there, it never really gets used up, it only gets eroded by calcium and KH being out of balance with each other basically. So uh, for most obvious tanks, if you've only got soft corals or LPS or a small number of hard corals in your tank, then magnesium can be pretty much completely ignored. Um, the it does vary considerably from one salt brand to another and stability is a good thing. So try not to chuck, chop around your brands of salt too much, particularly between EVAP and, and synthetic salts if the magnesium levels are wildly different. But other than that, don't really worry about magnesium unless you're doing a lot of dosing of calcium or KH.